My Mexican friend Esteban took me to Schlachtensee. I was like, how is there a lake here? It's Berlin. I hate nature. I honestly didn't know that speed and meth were the same thing. I guess I've done a lot of meth. C'est Berlin. I've translated all my catchphrases into French because it's the language of diplomacy. C'est un grand truc. My Latvian friend Baiba lives in teepee land. It's an alternative housing community in the forest where people live in teepees. But she had to move out when someone stole her organically grown beetroots. You ruined her borscht, you fucking hippies. I grew my hair long enough to do a flock of seagulls thing, and I'm already over it. Nothing is funnier than meeting someone who's just moved here. Oh geez, there's so much culture. Don't worry, the Germans are gonna break your spirit too. Give it six months. My name isn't pronounced Daniel, it's Daniel. If you have a problem with that, you can talk to my friend Megan, who insists on being called Megan. I can do it too, Megan, you persnickety little bitch. Ich bin ein Berliner. <laughs> Please, that joke is deader than JFK. No, I'm not going to be on your podcast. Cheese. Cheese. Like, why don't you just say goodbye? Is Tadort still a thing? Sometimes me and my friends ironically quote classic lines from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. You're such a fucking liar, Camille. My Icelandic friend Steinor performed at a German poetry slam, but instead of doing a German poem, he did Inuit throat singing. I don't even pronounce it Berlinale. It's a Berlinale. Fuck yoga. Who would actually wear lederhosen in Berlin? Why don't you just mitfar geleg and hike yourself to Bavaria? Bavarian or barbarian? Same difference. When I found out that the Beifau gay was selling shoes that had Ubon passes inside of them, I was like, suit me up, Hans, size 13. I managed to convince my friend Ian to change his last name to Ronick so that we can introduce him as Ironic. <laughs> Isn't that the best pun ever? So much better than So Berlin. Take that, Lynn.